What's up guys, this is Phoenix and it's time for me to scream bloody murder. Another shitty vehicle, well, which is not necessarily shitty in life, but honestly shitty in War Thunder. And did I get up tiered or was it just that guy? Looks like it was just that guy. Anyway. However, let's not waste the uh, time on ranting and let's talk about the vehicle itself, starting from the name. So it starts with a SPZ, which is abbreviation sorry, SPZ, which is abbreviation for Schützen Panzer, which means uh, literally infantry armored, but of course we are not supposed to read it literally. And when we don't it means armored infantry fighting vehicle more or less. The murder part, of course, means Martin in German, and I say of course because I have mentioned it on my Mother Free Age video. Uh, no, oh. A funny thing, murder and leopard were created to work in concert, so why not let so why not do some role playing with the leopard? Why I talk about the background? Okay, so speaking of background, murder was, or rather say, let's, or rather let's say, enter development in 1959 to procure a successor for HS-30 infantry vehicle, which uh, HS-30 was. Can hear something there. Let's go from the other direction. Uh, oh, there's something there. Alright, suppose I can try hunting down whatever is there, but first let's ensure that there's no other enemy here. Alright, it's clear. Now let's see if I can get whatever is there on the road. Come on, murder! Bloody murder. Uh, is that guy there able to see me? Nope. Uh, Alright, so this dude is there. Uh, honestly, I don't really like it, but... Hmm. Man, it was taking so long to kill that guy that I wasted a rocket to make sure that he wouldn't kill me. What's that shit? Of course, somehow that didn't hit that guy. Alright, screw off from here. Honestly, I thought that Leopard would be doing a better job there. Mm, if that's how it is... Then let's hide around here first to repair. Find that slope, maybe. Yeah, that leopard died down there. Mm. Yeah, so regarding that HS 30, it's the same thing that was used as the base for rocket and automat. And I have made a small mistake back in that video when I was talking about it because it was indeed produced by Hispano Suiza, however, it was the Swiss uh, company. Hispano Suiza that made it. I'm not sure, I think they have several divisions in that Hispano Suiza. Mm, but it isn't really important. So, Mart, there's development started in 59. And uh, let's try and flank that guy who was. Oh shit. He's there and he can see me. Uh, Alright. Let's make it harder for him and then let's just. Counterintuitively, I will not touch to the sides. Oh shit, this guy is. Uh, this vampire. Let's think around. Alright, let's go white. And wait for opportunity to stick a missile. Oh, okay, he's dead. That's better. Anyway, back to the topic. There were several companies competing. 
with their murder designs or other designs uh, in the pro. Oh, wait, Falcon, I can kill that. Gotcha. Uh, anyway, and there were, I think, six or seven, probably seven prototypes ready by. Come on, kill that shit. Why can't you? Alright, let's just do this. Alright, never mind. So much for my preparations. Anyway, let's just well reload. Fine. Rounds are not going to get me anywhere. Alright, any sounds here? No, it's just the tree. Following me. Hmm. So there are 7 prototypes by 62 and 63 However, then development got delayed because the companies were told to focus on developing Cannon and Jagd Panzer That is the Panzer, sorry, Jagd Panzer 4 5 that we have in the in Warfinder here This is a bit strange because the winning design in the murder uh, for murder came from Rhine Metal whereas Cannon and Jagd Panzer was produced by Henschel and Hanumag Bruh, what is going on there? Alright, let's try to help from the side. Honestly, no, no, I have no idea what I can do with this shit, but it won't hurt to try. Mm. Anyway, the development was then resumed after several years and Murder was finished in 69. It was then finally introduced into service in 71. I don't really have any good trajectory for those guys. Alright, let's go somewhere amidst the buildings and we'll see. Uh, so, since then, over 2,100 murders were produced. Initially, only German army used them. Of course, we are talking about West Germany. However, with time they decided to get used to get rid of those they were not using anymore, and they started selling them to a number of countries. Alright, I hope I can penetrate. No, I can't. Missile time, and he survived that. Yeah, see, murder, bloody murder. And there's some other guy behind here. Alright, let's use the backup because. Yeah, <laughs> I see everyone's ranting in the chat. I can't say I'm surprised. I want to do the same. Uh, Alright, is that guy ahead of me behind those garages or behind the building? Wait, there's something. Something there. Alright, he's going the other way. Alright, it's exactly 72. Let's try. Gotcha. Uh, it was just some prototype thing. Uh, Alright, good that he didn't come out because... I really hate this fence. Seems like it will intercept my missile. Damn. Oh, lucky. I sprayed so hard that he didn't aim well. Something there, but okay, let's wait for him to come out. And haha, <laughs> gotcha. Uh, the other guy there is tricky. Alright, you know what? Won't win this, might as well pop the smokes. Four kills, that's actually pretty much a lot uh, on murder. Uh, yeah, so. German army ended up selling their used murders and they sold them to Jordan, to Indonesia, to Chile and to Greece. Uh, at least those are the operators that alongside with the newest one Ukraine are using them right now. Uh, currently the German army has like I think close to 400 and the third one, sorry the next one would be Chile with almost 300. However, Marder was used as a base for many, many vehicles that were built for export. The most famous one would probably be TAM, T-A-M tank that we have in the tree here. 
I think I'll uh, do some scouting from behind the hills because this sort of map really doesn't favor murder. We will see. I will have to do some opportunistic predator behavior. Doesn't look like an up tier. At least not a serious one. Oh, come on! Can't you turn? Seriously. I boycott you, boycott. Alright. Let's get this guy out of my sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Anyway, as I was saying... However, despite all this, uh, murders haven't really entered combat for a long time. Also, they were supposed to be replaced by murder too. And in the late 20th century to accompany Leopard 2. It was also the same story as with all right, 300 uh, that alright so the chopper is somewhere there I don't see though right, we'll see Maybe he will come closer soon. Mm. Oh, there he is. Probably since the other murder is shooting there. Uh, however, that murder 2 project ended up being cancelled. It lasted through the second half of the 80s until early 90s. The prototype was indeed made, but... Mi-24. Mi the most hateful son of a big... I don't know why, but it, I'm, this time I'm 24 seems to have some interesting spawn because... Oh, there's another one. Yep. Let's check that booty so that I can aim my machine gun at this guy. Gotcha. What the hell, bro? Is this some kind of heli convent? Well, thanks for frags, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that murder too was... Uh, Produced uh, until there was a prototype made, but it didn't enter mass production, and it was cancelled. And eventually, it was decided that Puma would replace Murder, and this is in the process of happening now. But interestingly, Puma also had a very long development, from what I remember, and this replacing of Murder is also taking a lot of time. But then again, the German army in the 21st century has become somewhat of a joke so it's not really surprising for example I have already mentioned once in some video that there was an incident during some NATO exercises uh, that included armies of at least several nations where German murders had the problem because as you can see here there is a coaxial machine gun next to the cannon However, they somehow didn't have enough machine guns for their murders. I don't know, maybe they theirs broke and they removed them, but they had nothing to replace them with. So the, non, the German non-coms made soldiers replace them with sticks, yeah, from, with broomsticks, which they painted black. So it, it was really ridiculous because uh, others ended up finding out. Uh, anyway... Is there anything I can scout at least if not shoot at? Hmm. Yeah, so that would be pretty much it. Wait, that thing there, is that something I can... Let's try. Looks like Wally. That M9000. Yeah, it's him. Shit. Something's shooting at me here. I've been on the lookout for this plane, but he wouldn't come. Oh, great bomb. Cool. Now I wonder if I remember to get a backup or not. Oh, I didn't. No wonder I felt like I didn't. Yeah. So it wasn't until 2009 or 10. Actually, yeah, it was, I think it was in both those years that Mother finally got some combat experience because they fought against... Uh, the combatants in Afghanistan.
Uh, however, pretty sure there was no anti-tank action there. Uh, currently, Ukraine is using murders. I think they have at least 100 of them. But frankly speaking, I don't really know much about this. Okay, so let's talk about the vehicle itself. Uh, as usual, let's start with the armament. So as you can see, we have a 20 mm cannon RH two hundred sorry two hundred two, which is not something unique in the game because there are several other vehicles with it, such as a Wiesel and it, and I think one Japanese uh, anti-aircraft vehicle was it Sub One Two maybe, and one Japanese recon vehicle that Type eighty seven. RCV or or whatever was the abbreviation after type number. However, that one comes in two versions of which one of them has this cannon. Yeah, so this cannon is pretty good against helicopters and planes. So with that being said, I'm not really good at using it against planes um, unless they come really close. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's something to do with velocity. Maybe I'm uh, taking too much of a vertical lead. No idea. Maybe the overly big zoom is confusing me. That sounds so possible. Regardless, uh, the cannon is quite good against air targets, but it's garbage against ground targets because we have only a, a bit below 60 millimeters of penetration, which is honestly just garbage. Only some trucks and uh, fellow paper armor vehicles like BTR are vulnerable to it, but if you re remember the previous battle, I shot a BTR and it uh, easily shrugged off the 20 mil that I have here. Uh, there are three types of belts for the 20 millimeter, but they are pretty much all the same. They all have two, only two kinds of rounds, either high explosive or high velocity armor piercing. Uh, oh shit, I6. Run, run, run! Bloody murder! Ooh, lucky. Well, IS-6. Care to tell me how long your reload is? Oh shit, I don't see him. I lock it out. Oh shit, there's some other dude there. Pop things, smoke, smokes. For a smooth retreat, and now got around. Alright. Oh, I said that missile, but at least I survived. Yeah, so those three belts are the same. And the only things that is different between them is the composition of, of the ammo times. So it's uh, the default has 50-50 and the other one have 3 to 1 of 8 are kind. Uh, honestly, I think you can just use default like me. There's no real point in replacing... Ah, missed the binoculars. Alright, let's see if I can... Alright, let's try, he's there in the bushes. He moved a bit. Shit. Alright, let's hide behind this little hut here. Alright, got a retreat. Before I get on it. Oh, what a little guy here. Ambitious. Or just messing around, I wonder. Uh, yeah, so the, as we established, the cannon is garbage against tanks. Mm, it's It has an MG3, it's not correct jelly with it, but uh, it doesn't really matter because MG3 is garbage. And we have an automatic or rather remotely controlled turret with another MG3 in the back. However, it can only shoot to the back in a radius of 180 degrees. It can shoot to the sides at 90 de degrees, but it cannot... Uh, well, as you see here, this is the angle more or less, and it can't go more. Okay, so it's more like 190 or 200 degrees, not that it doesn't really... Not that it really matters because it's the same shit. Uh, Alright, let's try. Shit. Alright, gotcha. Lucky. Woo. Another one, and there's more on the right there somewhere. 
which is not good at all, but wait, there seem to be several one or two light tanks here, so maybe I do stand a chance. But let's hide in the bushes first. Yeah, so when enemy helicopters or planes are incoming, you might as well turn your vehicle around to face it with its rear in order to bring this rare machine gun to action. It doesn't really do much, but it's always an additional barrel. Even if it cannot do much, at least it can. Alright, let's try. Gotcha. But now I'm out of missiles. Alright, you know what I will do? I'll try to retreat from here. And then go to sea along the, an arc. And replenish my Milan stock there. Woo! Flying boy. Alright, let's screw off from here. Something shooting at me? Not necessarily. Uh, some plane, and it's not ours. Uh, there he is. And I think there's another one, yep. Then let's do some plane shooting now. Starting with this guy here. Nice! A lucky shot though. Uh, the other guy is there. Let's wait for him to pull up. Nice! Again. Ooh, something's angry there. Oh shit. I'm too close to the enemy vehicles. But I go along the lower terrain there. Uh, yeah, so that would be it regarding the cannons and machine, cannon and machine gun. As I said, we have Milan 80 GMs. We have four of them. You can replenish stock on capture points, which is absolutely a must. Because those missiles, well, they are good. Sometimes you will one-shot enemy tanks with them, but sometimes you will not. They are not uh, really reliable in that sense. Sometimes it takes two, three missiles to take down an enemy tank with them. Shit, there's some guy there. Alright. This looks like something French. Let's distract him and annoy him. So that he cannot kill my tiger to here. I need a tiger to, to survive. Why am I the one being shot at when there are... Yeah, this tiger to... Is he oblivious? Or just outnumbered? Jeff is doing whatever he wants with him. Alright. Backup time. Yeah, so the missiles are very good. And you basically have to... Control them with your mouse. Uh, but I think there's some maximum range to them. Alright, we'll see it here. Yeah, 2 kilometers. So, below 2 kilometers, there's a chance that you will lose control and they will be harmless. Uh, is there some plane? Thought I heard one, but... Maybe it was a friendly plane. Uh, back to the topic. Yeah, and one more problem, those ATGMs are the same as heat rounds in the sense that they will explode on obstacles. Right, therefore, you have to keep that in mind when you're using them. Hmm. I don't really like shooting with missiles from this far away. There is a problem with the missile that is, you have to be immobile when you control it, when you shoot it. Uh, if you are at move, then you are unable to shoot it. And this means that you are a sitting duck when it's flying towards the target. Mm, Alright. I don't really have a good trajectory for anything here. Alright. Can't do much to that guy. Let's see if I can go somewhere else to the right. Let's see if you are still alive. Press. Gains Gephardt, impressive. Alright. However, 
the good point about Milans is that you can fly them over obstacles like I just did but I accidentally made it fly over that IS tank as well gotcha hmm. all right yeah because there are only so few rockets and you have to be absolutely careful with them and use them very sparingly oh would you look at this One more point about the cannon when used against aircraft is that the vertical guidance as you can see is quite limited only up to 65 degrees which means that it is very easy for a plane to appear in your blind spot however there is one nice thing here in Marder, which is the laser wrench finder. Oh shit. This time the wrench finder worked against me, so yeah, you have to keep updating it. Yeah, so optics as you can see are absolutely amazing. The reload time for cannon is 9 seconds, for missile I imagine something like 15 to 10 to 20 seconds we would have to count it so maybe I will do it as soon as an opportunity uh, appears well that this guy okay let's see if I can get him but for the time to go closer here for now this guy is way too low uh, way too far away all right gotcha she saw my s -fin paper armor and got tempted that let me destroy him uh, let me see yeah that last thing the turret rotation as you can see is amazing on Marder there's absolutely nothing to need to be there yeah that would be pretty much it regarding the armament let's jump into test drive real quick to see the exact real time of the missiles one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, at eight it was at a half, so 16 seconds or so, I would say. Actually, maybe it's even written here. Mm, nope, not really. Oh, but we have missile guidance at time, so basically you have 13 seconds to. Wait, wait, wait. Forgot the backup. So basically you have 13 seconds to hit a target. Given the speed of 200 meters per second, that is in a way a range of 2 kilometers and 600 meters. Yeah, so between that and 2 kilometers is the practical range of murder's missiles. Okay, so now let's talk about armor. And boy, oh boy, bloody murder. Its armor is really garbage. The only good thing about its armor is that it's sloped, and therefore, and com so it's sloped and thick enough to endure a 50 cal machine gun from the front. But that's basically it. Well, just look at this paper thin shit. It's really easy to kill. Uh, any random SPA BTR can destroy it very easily. Therefore, never ever rely on your armor. Yeah, see, the slope from the front is about the only good thing. But I'm sure that the 32mm refers to this and not this, and this one's probably thinner, but we would have to check that in the hangar. I'll do this after this battle if I remember. Uh, on X-ray, as you can see, we have 80 GM missiles stored in the back. Those tubes in the middle and on the right, those are the 80 GMs. And otherwise, we have some missile, sorry, some ammo for the cannon stored on the left. And uh, I think that f mm, that shit that they are sitting on is either ammo or fuel. So one way or another, some funny seat to be seated on. Uh, basically, I think it's a repeat of that 
ancient ejection seat from another vehicle that I remember joking about once though I don't remember what that shit was yeah so there's no real point talking about armor anymore because it's weak all around so there are no weak spots here the whole thing is a giant weak spot the only relatively good thing is the turret which is that the crew is basically only having their heads here so they are not uh, sitting too high in the turret which means some relative level of protection from machine gun fire when an enemy shoots your turret uh, alright let's be careful here best if that guy there comes out first come on good sir the ladies first mm, yeah rather than armor it's your mobility that counts much more so while at it let's check out the reverse speed oh, as you can see it's very good at least 35 kilometers per hour well you saw me retreat in the previous battle um, before I got on it uh, on my way to sea all right let's not shit mm, uh, well I linger too long there all right let's use the backup I think it will be the last battle anyway yeah so mobility is what uh, will save you instead of your armor just as it was with leopard one uh, first let's have a quick glance if there are any enemy aircraft or only the friendly ones there this guy's pretty loud I can hear him from there or it doesn't seem like there's anything all right I forgot to mention the range of laser sorry the range of laser rangefinder is quite good at 10 kilometers quite impressive I like it nothing to complain about and it also loads very quickly and automatically adjusts the well you saw this thing basically uh, it automatically adjusts your aim so that you will have the right lead or rather lead I suppose is the proper pronunciation yeah aside from the general speed alright let's not stand here because the, that missile launcher will probably shoot my missile right into ooh but something so Shit. You got my something, but oh, how kind of you, T54, that you are letting me reload my missile peacefully. Maybe I'll even be able to repair in time. Oh, shit. Not going too well. Yeah, this is a good place uh, for launching the missile because uh, wait why did he die lol no clue he either abandoned vehicle or got owned by RT and I got credited for the kill maybe uh, yeah so as you saw the wall on the right just pre prevented me from hitting with that missile or rather I didn't hit the wall but I had to try extra hard not to do this and I'm, I'm not sure if it was in one of the battles I have recorded now or in one of the that I failed earlier but I also had a case of going of being behind the cover or I suppose one more quick without a backup and uh, so I was behind some obstacle that I used this cover and hit it with the ATGM wasting it completely yeah so that's a big problem yeah, but otherwise back to mobility it's great and the turn ability is also great i suppose i can try to go once more on reverse to see how fast it is mm, all right i'll go this way or actually you know what no i'll go that way all right so screw the reverse but yeah it's very fast anyway mm. all right i forgot about the armor okay after this battle then 
Uh, yeah, so as for additional features, we actually have quite a few. First, we have small grenades, enough to use them at least three times. And they are very good small grenades, there's really nothing to speak about. It's only a pity that we don't have more. Next, we have bin binocul sorry, binocul binoculars. Uh, yeah, that we can use to scout against, uh, sorry, to scout enemies, which in turn not only nets us points but also makes the cost of spawning in aircraft cheaper once you unlock a relevant modification. Uh, next, we have artillery barrage, and next, we have, as you can see, night vision. Yeah, it works both in first person and in second person. I think there's something there. BMP. Alright. Let's try to get that BMP. Honestly. I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I can't. Alright. Let's not engage him there. Especially since there's some heli here. Oh no, you don't. I think that shit here, that BMP or whatever, is approaching. I had better cover my retreat with smokes. Something there, let's scout it. And now let's hide here. Woo, just in time, just in time. Uh, whatever thing was there shooting at me. I think it was a BTR. Oh, it did hit as well. Oh no, it was there. Yeah, by the way, look at this red font on the speed. This is basically what shows you that you are going too fast to launch the missile. Mm, yeah, so that would be pretty much it for special features, I guess. I think we also have an IR spotlight, but as I mentioned on another video, I don't really know how that shit works. Alright, let's hope this dude here some repairs and now let's go here uh, next the economy uh, as you can see I have a leftover 10% booster for research so the actual modifier is 196% rather than shit I missed I'm pissed but what was this thing here or something maybe? Woo! I actually shrugged off something. Was it something there? Regardless, let's get those walls to screw off and not get in my way. Mm. Alright, I still have three missiles, so it's not too bad. Alright, there's some shit there on the left. And possibly some shit on the right as well. Uh, ooh. Oh, that was tricky. I had to go around that IS... Uh, uh, go around that... Uh, what was it? Vickers? Oh, no, I think it was Streetswagen 81 maybe. I had to go around it with my missile. Man. Alright, that was pretty short. So let's test dive to check the reverse. Uh, yeah, so... Alright, and the armor. Uh, so the modifiers aren't really good, they are more like rank 4 than rank 5 if you ask me. Nothing special, but uh, I suppose it's very good as well. Ooh, that's actually it's pretty fast in reverse as well. Over 50 kilometers per hour. Oh, okay, Marder doesn't swim, by the way. <laughs> good to know. Mm, so armor. Yeah, so this is in practice more like 40 millimeters, and this is oh, this is actually more or less as the stat card shows. All right, back to the modifiers. As you can see, the Kashiwat is garbage. Only 160 percent. Really ridiculous, really, especially with how much you die on murder. Okay, I guess one more quick battle, since I'll be talking for a while anyway. And the repair cost, as you saw, there was over five thousand. I think it's really not the best vehicle to earn your SL with. Something should be adjusted. Either the SL modifier 
same map, same mode, interesting. Either the sell rate should be increased or the repair cost should be decreased. Uh, it's not really good. Alright, by the way, I forgot to mention uh, when I was talking about ammo that we only have three crew members, therefore it's pretty easy to take down murder. Uh, even with non-explosive ammunition and with ammunition that has the ammunition coming from rapidly firing guns. Uh, let me see. Oh, we got full up tier time. That means 8.7. Alright, so again. Regarding performance, this is a fight fast, die fast kind of vehicle. A combat glass cannon, which is furthermore extremely limited by its low ammo count on the Milan 80 gems so it's pretty much just okay wait uh, first I let you mention the various BRs so mm, I would say that uh, the higher the BR the worse but it doesn't really influence murder all that much because it's garbage uh, regardless mm. Well, I'm not sure, perhaps up tier will... Ooh. Okay, great. Oh, that's not really good positioning, because uh, he will see me first before I will be able to shoot my missile. That's not too good. Fortunately, he's not in a hurry to approach me here. Unfortunately, there's probably something in the building there. Well then, you know what? I don't see him, and it's only a question of an issue of time before he sees me. Great. There, he just had to hit my. Should go. Is there something there? No, probably not. It seems like there was though. Alright, let's pop some small smokes just in case. I don't want to get caught here. Uh, as I have a bad feeling about this shit. Not sure if this shit will get repaired. Or only the tracks. Of course, only the tracks. Oh uh, shit, alright, let's not use smokes anymore. Yeah, so the overall performance is again glass cannon. This is a good support vehicle, but it's absolutely a garbage deathmatch vehicle. And honestly, you just die very quickly and very often with it, if you use it uh, on your own. Anyway, you have seen me die quite a few times in this video, so you know what I'm talking about. So that the advice tactics on murder are to Use the mobility and ATGMs to your advantage and absolutely avoid direct confrontations. You never want to rely on armor in this shit. Alright, let's see if I can help against this thing here. Just need you to come out. Right, missed with my mini fence. Alright, you know what? Might as well flank that dude. Uh, Alright, he's here. Is he following me along? I'm not sure. Let's see. Alright. I can do this. Whoop! Whoop! Unfortunate. There are two guys staring at me. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very easy to die in the goddamn murder. That's why I call it bloody murder. Mm, Alright, I think there's no real point in jumping into any more battles, I'll just finish. So, advice tactics are to treat it as a support vehicle where you are helping others or focus on taking down helicopters, maybe aircraft. Jets will be a big, big challenge, but propeller aircraft are relatively simple as a threat. And definitely, definitely do not try to take heavy tanks, or actually any tanks, head-on, unless you are sure that they, that you have enough time to missile them before they shoot at you. One more thing, which is that 
if you aim at enemy tanks with your rockets, when it comes to modern tanks, preferably hit the front because of, there is often some fuel or ammo stored there, so you have the highest chance of one shooting enemies with it. Sometimes hitting the turret from the front on either side will also have the same result, but relatively rare in my experience. Murder kind of is worthy of including in uh, main lineup, but given how often you will die, I don't really commend it. However, uh, you can see this lineup. A few years ago, all those things used to be 7.3 at most. So, as you can see, I have the German BMP and the murder here. So, this sort of lineup, especially with this book Tessar and things like Dornier 335, is excellent for farming assists. Therefore, if you have tasks related to farming assists, then or to scouting, because we have two vehicles that can scout here then murder and similar vehicles as those that you see here are what you want to go to. So this is about the only thing that murder is excellent for, scouting and farming scouting. Farming assists for scouting is its uh, basically best role. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, two more things to say. Firstly, the worst enemy is basically everything is your worst enemy. So there's no real point in uh, saying anything because, any, again, anything can very easily kill you. Things that can shoot at you rapidly and have no reload window in which you can fire back at them are your pro worst enemy, however, I suppose, because it will be the hardest to attack them once they spot you without dying. And so that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is that we have another mother here. Uh, however, I won't be making a video on it because it's almost the same. There are only two differences. Firstly, the remotely controlled machine gun has been removed. And secondly, it has slightly better air more available. Because uh, instead of high velocity armor piercing runs, we have armor piercing discarding sabot shells, which gives you a ground total of 9 more millimeters of penetration which is honestly garbage. I think Wiesel also has this ammo. Uh, let me have a look. Yep, it also has it. So honestly, I don't recommend wasting your time on more than one mar murder. And I think that if you are using it, then you might as well use this one, because firstly you have an additional MG turret from behind, which is helpful against planes and helicopters. And secondly, that that other belt isn't really worth it. The only thing really that this one has over this murder is better modifiers and lower repair cost. However, note that the repair cost that I have here is referring to the stock vehicle, whereas the one here is referring to a fully upgraded vehicle, so it might as well not be lower on the other version. Alright, thank you guys for watching and until the next time. This is pretty much it.